Good evening. One man has died and two others have been hurt in a train crash near Poole in Dorset. British Rail has begun an inquiry into how it happened. It's the third fatal train crash on the southern region in less than five months. Today's crash happened on the main line between Weymouth and London at Holton Heath. Dorset's fire and ambulance services put their emergency plan into operation for dealing with a train crash. This report from Steve Humphrey. The collision happened just after midday. It involved two trains, one a single locomotive which was travelling along the main line towards Poole, the other a loaded freight train. The trains collided near a point where a siding joins the main Weymouth to London line. The man who died was the driver of the single locomotive. British Rail say that he managed to jump from the cab of his moving engine moments before the collision. His body was found at the side of the track. It's understood the collision occurred during shunting operations. The freight train loaded with clay and fertiliser pulled out of a siding which serves the Holton Heath Industrial Estate. It was due to travel to Eastleigh near Southampton on the London bound line. The single engine was heading in the same direction on the same line at about 50 miles an hour. The Class 33 diesel locomotive ran into the last wagon of the freight train. The driver and guard of the freight train both escaped serious injury. The driver ran to a nearby signal box to raise the alarm and services on the Weymouth to Waterloo line were halted. A full emergency plan to deal with rail crashes was put into operation by Dorset's fire and ambulance services. Almost 30 firemen were sent to the scene along with ambulance crews and police officers. Senior British Rail managers have now begun an investigation into this afternoon's crash. An investigation is underway to establish the full facts. How fast was and the driver of the locomotive going, do you assume, along this track? That I don't know at this stage. But obviously he was going at he, some speed in order he, to have had such a shunt. The, er, the early indications are that he was, but that isn't necessarily to say that the driver of that locomotive was in the blame. But there were signals, and as far as you know, the signals oh, yes. were working. Yes, the signal, as far as I'm aware, yeah. that the, the signals were working. An absolute tragedy, because this is, of course, the third rail crash that we've had in a short space of time on the same railway line. And uh, my sympathy must go out to uh, the rail driver's family who was killed, uh, the rail driver who was killed. Um, and it's just so tragic. But I suppose we do have to remember that uh, rail travel is still the safest form of travel anywhere in the UK, uh, but we're so used to having it as a totally safe, uh, a fatality free type of travel that uh, we must look at what is now happening and why this is uh, happening on this particular line. Ian Bruce, South Dorset MP. And British Rail tell us that the line will be closed until about 9 o'clock this evening. A bus service is in operation between Wareham and Poole, and it's hoped that train services will be back to normal in time for tomorrow's rush hour. Thank <laughs> you.